This is Ethereum 101. Today, I want to talk about Vitalik Buterin's journey from a Bitcoin enthusiast to the creator of Ethereum. It all started in Azeroth, where Vitalik was slaying monsters in the world of Warcraft. One day, Blizzard nerfed his favorite Warlock class, and that heartbreak taught him a big lesson. Centralized control over digital assets? Not so cool. In 2011, Vitalik entered the crypto space, writing for Bitcoin magazine. As dedicated as he was to the Bitcoin world, he felt something was off. Bitcoin was revolutionary, sure, but limited. In 2013, he decides to take matters into his own hands and publishes a white paper that outlines Ethereum. Vitalik envisioned a platform that didn't just handle digital money, but could also be a foundation for decentralized applications, where code could run without any centralized authority. And when the Bitcoin community couldn't agree on expanding its capabilities, Vitalik didn't wait around for a consensus. And that is how Ethereum was born.